portion of our mandatory mini camp. Way back on the 15th, we challenged one another to say, could we have the best mini camp, you know, excuse me, the best off season we've ever had. And we wanted to go for that in every way. Uh, way prior to that, um, for the coaches, we said we're about 110 days away from mandatory minicamp. At that time, it was free agency coming up, draft coming up, point of attack tape for the players. Can we take every guy and try and find things to develop, get the new guys ready? And I thought from a staff standpoint, we had new guys to add into the culture uh, that we've created, and I couldn't have been more pumped with that. From the player standpoint, the mentoring from the veteran player, who I'm calling guys who have even been on the team a year, to the new players bringing in those 25 to 30 guys, could they come and battle for it? And that's what we met just for a little while ago with the rookies. That adjustment coming to pro ball is real. And uh, what's the way to get to the next spot in the battle for it? We got some really good guys to do that. So there's a number of things we wanted to implement as we got through the off season. Some scheme changes offensively, defensively on teams. How do we feature some of these new players into our systems? And uh, on special teams, how can we go? We felt the speed out there today. I couldn't be more encouraged. We, we, Reminded our guys, let's say rule number one, which for us is protecting the team, having a constant for that uh, all the way. We got a good, you know, break here. That I want everybody lined up, uh, ready to go, recharged uh, in a month's time, and uh, we're going to go for it. Uh, we got a, a hell of a division that we're going to go fight for, and it's going to be a great training camp uh, for us to put that work in uh, to be able to compete to do that. So that's really where our aim is. We come back and we do the best training camp we've had. So we're very encouraged, Thomas and I are, with the direction that the off season went. Uh, this rookie class is a good one, and uh, they've got their stuff together. Uh, they like competing, they like battling, and then for the big guys, we'll get a better evaluation for them uh, once we get to training camp and uh, get pads and, and get into their world, so to speak. So, with that, I'm glad to open it up to your questions uh, regarding camp or anything regarding the offseason. Coach, any takeaways uh, before you go see the last set of films on uh, on the three-day mini camp for you? There's a lot of things to take away, mm -hmm. and the first one we wanted to make sure: could we really function? Uh, as a group, offensively, defensively, without the coaches' communication, mm -hmm. uh, them signaling the personnel situations, um, that was as important as anything to see us function as a group. We wanted to emphasize in this camp our youngest players, now not just the rookies, guys maybe who doesn't have a lot of experience going into years two or three. We wanted to get to know them more. We wanted to get to know some of the free agents we added in the off season more. That's the Jack Crawfords and Don Terry's, and, and get a feel for that. So we were trying to check those boxes, led mm -hmm. in terms of uh, getting to know these guys as well as we can. Uh, how do they learn? And that helps us as coaches know, okay, he may need more time in the classroom. This player may need more time out walking through. And that's our job as coaches to find that not everybody goes through it at the same rate. Dion told us they nicknamed them all Savage. Uh, is that <laughs>